Question says, consider the following reaction. If the rate constant is 1.98 times 10 to the minus 2 per second at 445K and 6.48 times 10 to the minus 1 per second at 575K, what is the activation energy of the reaction? So in this case, what we're looking at is the Arrhenius equation. And specifically, we're looking at the two-point form of the Arrhenius equation. Specifically, the ln of k2 over k1 equals ea the activation energy over r this r has to be 8.3 uh 1 4 joules per mole k times 1 over t1 minus 1 over t so this is the two-point form of the Arrhenius equation. A simple uh, thing to remember here is if your activation energy comes out negative, you probably either flip these or flip these. All right. If you flip one of them, then this will come out negative, um, and then that'll be a problem. So the activation energy has to be positive. And we'll talk a little bit more about this in the reaction coordinate diagrams um, in, in a couple questions from now. So basically, now we just plug it in. So we need to decide a one and a two. Usually I put the this one as the one and this one is the two just because it came first. So you wanna make sure your constant goes with your temperature, okay? So the ln of K2, so we decided this was the two, is 6.48 times 10 to the minus one over K1, we decided this is one, which is 1 1.98 times 10 to the minus two equals ea that's your variable over r which is 8.314 all right and that's joules per mole k the math is a little bit long here so i'm not writing all the units which is probably not the best times one over t1 make sure you use the right one in this case is 445k minus one over uh t2 which is your 575k Again, not writing in the units, probably not the best, but the math here is a, bit, a little bit complicated. So if we divide these, we get the ln of 32.7 equals Ea over 8.314 joules per mole K. And if you subtract these two, you get 5.08 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, now you're going to take that and divide it by this. You're going to take the ln of this, and you get 3.49 equals Ea times 6.11 times 10 to the minus 5. So you take this and divide by that. Now divide both sides by 6.11 times 10 to the minus 5, and you find that the activation energy of this reaction is going to be 57,100. This comes out in joules because your constant's in joules per mole K, or you could use 57.1 kilojoules. And the problem that we give you, you have to convert to uh, kilojoules. So that is basically um, how you're going to do this question. All right, so B is pretty much the same as A, all right, except for we need to use the activation energy that we just found and make sure that it's in joules, not in kilojoules. I should note that I rounded this to three sig figs. Oh, which is why I left the zeros here. All right, it says, what is the rate constant for the reaction at 495K? So what I'm gonna use is one, and I'm gonna make this as now the new two, and I'm gonna use this use this two. I'm not gonna use it at all. Um, so that's basically how I am going to do that. So how what do I wanna do now? Well, it's the exact same equation that we used before. So in this case, the ln of K2, which is what I don't, no, that's the x over k1, which again, I'm using this as 1 again. So it's 1.98 times 10 to the minus 2 equals ea is now not the x. k2 is the variable, the thing we're trying to solve for. Make sure you plug this in in joules because the constant's in joules. So plug in 57,000. 100 joules, which you just found in part A. On the bottom, 8.314 joules per mole K times 1 over T1. Again, I'm going to call this 1. You can't see it there, but that's the 1. So T1 is 445K minus 1 over T2. And T T2 
um, is going to be what you have here in the new question, 495k. All right, so we can simplify this because it's all numbers. So ln of k2 over 1.98 times 10 to the minus 2 is equal to 1.56. All right, now we need to get rid of the ln. Sorry, you can't see that. To get rid of the ln, we take the shift ln, or we take e to the ln. That kills the ln, but we have to do it to both sides. We got to take the e to that side. So e to the ln is just going to be k2 over 1.98 times 10 to the minus 2. All right, this just disappears. And then e to the 1.56, shift ln on your calculator, or second ln, depending on which kind of calculator you have, comes out to be 4.75. We then just cross multiply these two numbers together, and we get that k2 is equal to 9.41 times 10 to the minus 2, and that's Per second. All right. So these are basically, um, you know, kind of pain in the butt math problems. But this is the two point Arrhenius equation, which does allow us to find the activation energy. And finding the activation energy is very useful. There's also a graphical way to do that um, that is described in your textbook.